Hey guys, this is Aditya and in this video, I'm going to take you around MSI's new offering, the MSI GS637RD and also its big brother, the GS63VR7RF. Both these laptops are a complete package. You get high-end specs within a small and thin form factor. Talking about the build quality, both these laptops are built inside a brushed aluminum chassis and are really sturdy and durable. The body is of course a fingerprint magnet but you can wipe it off easily. It weighs about 1.8 kilograms and is just 17.7 millimeters thick. There is no flex from the external side. MSI says that it is the thinnest gaming laptop available. The best part about the laptop is that it opens with single hand and that's not it, it opens up to a 180 degrees. On the bottom side of this laptop, you can see a velvet like material. It has a purpose. It helps the user to use the laptop on his lap without letting him be in direct contact with the heat and also save his future. The GS637RD comes equipped with Intel's i7 7700HQ processor with NVIDIA GTX 1050 with 2GB of GDDR5 graphic memory. If you go for its big brother, the GS63VR7RF, then you will get the same processor that is the 7700HQ, but you will get the graphics card upgrade from 1050 to 1060 from NVIDIA of course with 6GB of GDDR5 graphics memory. But yes, that adds up the cost of the laptop as well. The GS637RD comes with an 8GB DDR4 RAM stick clocked at 24MHz and also it has an extra slot available so that you can go up to 32GB with this one. The GS63VR7RF comes with a 16GB RAM kit at 24MHz in a 2 into 8 stick configuration. For mass storage, the GS637RD comes with a 1TB 2.5 inch hard disk. You get one M.2 SSD combo slot in which you can either put an NVMe PCIe Gen 3 SSD or a SATA SSD. Both these laptops come with Windows 10 Home pre-installed. The port selection has been done by taking gamers into consideration. On the left hand side we have a Kensington lock, one RJ45 or Ethernet port which supports killer GB LAN and Wi-Fi, a full size HD card slot, three USB 3.0 ports and two audio jacks, one of which is the mic in and the other one is headphone out. The headphone jacks come with a ESS Sabri Hi-Fi audio DAC and also these are 18 karat gold plated. On the right side we have a backlit power button, a USB 2.0 port, a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, a full size HDMI 2.0 port, a mini display port and the charging port. You can add up to 3 monitors or displays through this as it has one Thunderbolt 3, mini DP and a HDMI port. Talking about the display, we have a 15.6 inch anti-glare full HD IPS panel. It is 100% sRGB certified. So that means that the colors are accurate and if you want to create any kind of content that requires playing with colors, then you won't have any problem with this. The viewing angles are great as well. This laptop has a 65 watt hour battery inside which will provide you power up to an hour or two with 75% of screen brightness and usage. Not great but you can't expect more from a laptop which has got high end hardware and also a small and thin form factor. The keyboard on this one is made by SteelSeries. It's a standard laptop keyboard with RGB backlight. The RGB is into three different zones and can be customized using the Dragon Center as well as the Steel Series engine. It does have a minor flex but that won't really tamper your typing experience. The trackpad here is what I found to be a little bit crappy. It doesn't have any tactile feedback plus it comes with Elan drivers. It's a metallic trackpad but using it is not that great. You can assign tapping zones on it so that you can perform some specific tasks by tapping on that particular zone. Of course, as this is a gaming laptop, nobody will really use this trackpad a lot while gaming 
and will have an external mice attached. But the trackpad experience is not that great. With such a thin form factor and high-end hardware, there is a need of lot of cooling. This monster comes with MSI's Cooler Boost Trinity technology. This is one of the best cooling stuff I got to see. The Cooler Boost Trinity consists of triple enhanced fans. Each of these fans have 41 blades, which increase the airflow. Also, there is an independent thermal solution on both the CPU and the GPU with a total of 5 heat pipes, which makes sure that the laptop outputs the best gaming experience with comparatively low temperature. There are of course a lot of vents to facilitate this, just above the I.O. plus on the rear side. This laptop comes with a few useful softwares pre-installed, one of which is the Nahimic. This software actually is an audio enhancing software. It offers you high definition sound tech which boosts the audio and voice performance of the laptop. It lets you enjoy 7.1 surround sound over stereo equipments. It also comes with a sound tracker feature which tells you in game where the sound is coming from. The Nahimic is coupled with the ESS Sabri Hi-Fi DAC which enhances your audio experience while gaming. As the keyboard is from SteelSeries, you have the SteelSeries engine pre-installed as well. This can help you add macros plus change the few lighting effects. You can also sync your other SteelSeries accessories if you have any. The last one is MSI's Dragon Center and it helps you to do a lot of stuff like CPU overclock and getting VR ready uh, in one click, then change the fan speed, change the RGB of the keyboard check the system status, get info about the PC and also control it via your mobile phone. Now let's talk about the gaming benchmarks. The games that I tested were GTA 5 and Tomb Raider. On the GS60 T7RD for GTA 5 at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at high to very high settings, you'll get around 60 to 65 frames per second. And for Tomb Raider, for a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at medium to high settings, you'll get around 55 to 65 frames per second. For its better and expensive brother, in GTA 5 at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 or even 1440 but if the output is available uh, and at a very high to ultra settings, you'll get around um, 95 to 130 frames which is really impressive. And that will also be somewhat similar to uh, the gaming experience with um, the Tomb Raider. Now when you game, to keep the temperature lower, the laptop switches to the cooler boost mode and it turns up the fan RPM to around 5000. This increases the cooling but it increases the fan noise. Surprisingly, when I actually gamed on this one without the headset, I couldn't really notice the fan noise. But when I paused the game when there was no music coming, then I could really hear it and yes, it is loud. But you can adjust the fan profiles in MSI's Dragon Center. So now it comes down to the price. The MSI GS63 7RD comes at a promotional price of 84,990 rupees with which you'll get an elite gaming case, a mouse pad, a headset and a dock tag. The MSI GS63 VR7RF will come at a price of around Rs. 1,64,000 which is a lot more than the GS63 7RD but of course the specs are better but still it's a lot more and if you ask me then I would go with the GS63 7RD. So finally I would like to conclude by saying that both these laptops are powerful machines and also at a reasonable price. Also, these are really thin as well as lightweight. Plus, you got some RGB and that red and black gamer theme. If you're looking for something powerful just like this and have a budget, then I would recommend you to go with this one. The things that I would have liked in both these would be a better trackpad. Also, I would like to see a 4GB GTX 1050 or the 1050 Ti in the GS63 7RD with a little bit of increase in the price. So yes, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot to MSI India for giving me such a wonderful chance of participating in this competition. I hope I didn't let you down.
If you like this video then make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more such content. Do let me know your views about the laptops and the video in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see your beautiful faces in my next video.